on Twitter, if you missed it, I did mention that I was going to try to react to this during my lunch break. But of course, you know, work being work, I had really no chance to do it in time with trying to make a little meal for myself. So here I am post work before I go to the gym. And yes, it's finally here. Chapter 90 uh, versus Dr. Hito. That is what this chapter title is called. That is what the color page looks like. Oh, yes, that time of the month. Wait, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we are in the Cricket District West. So um, I did go over these pages um, on the Full Power Podcast. So I'm going to pretty much kind of breeze through this part since I've already read this. So excuse me, citizen. I'm looking for the corner store where these three work. Oh, that's the, that shop right over there, officer. So then Krillin notices. He goes over and he notices a, an eyeball being dropped and then it's one of the like android zombie things picks it up pops it right back in he tries to chase after a woman who i guess was literally scurrying away um hey wait miss you forgot the stuff you bought too bad uh Krillin goes bingo now again this is the exact scene that if you actually go back and watch the superhero movie this is literally that part at the beginning where carmine and magenta are looking at hito's like footage of the things that he's been doing trying to i guess you know save money for his research or whatever and he did obviously mention that he was doing it in somewhat of a you know humane way kind of by actually having his creations work for the money i don't know it's it, it is it's whatever i feel like if that tape rolled a little bit more we may have seen krillin that's actually like one of the funny parts that i you know just realized so here we go so i finally found you zombies of uh mount butterfly and he's like huh and then there, go there goes uh uh my hmm what's going on krillin so shows the badge i'm with the police and i've got some questions about your boss you're coming down to the station and then krillin goes oh you're pilaf's friend right uh yeah hey and then they tried to run away and he like freeze he pulls the gat out on them right so then we go back over to where Goten, I guess, is going towards school. So he's at Mount Paozu near Goten's. So they're at Mount Paozu near Goten's house. So he's on the Nimbus playing, I guess, a PSP or something. It's obviously, some game console. He's got his, uh, he's got his headphones in. So you know, Goten's with the gamer life. You know, he's probably gonna be practicing that Street Fighter Six for that one million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, we out here. Uchi Games, check out my game channel. 40 minutes later, a few made it. All right, so they took a sweet ass time. Thanks a bunch, Kinto Un. He goes down, meets his uh, boy at the bus. The bus won't wait for long, Goten. And then he's like, oops, my bad. And then they, the narrator, to keep his long commute a secret, Goten gets on the bus a few stops away from school. Very smart. So then he says, you live around here, yeah? How come I only ever see you on the way to school? And he's like, mm, I don't get out of the house much. He's like, for real? And then uh, these two girls that are standing by them, they're like, how'd you get to be such good friends with Trunks when he's a grade higher than us, Goten? So they must be all in the same grade. So then Goten says, well, you see, our parents are old friends, which makes us practically cousins. We've known each other forever. Yeah, I like how they, how they, uh, how they, I guess, worded that here for the official translation. That's totally fine, too. You know, referring to Goten and Trunks as cousins is actually, like, pretty uh, spot on, not gonna lie. So, um, anyways, uh, oh, neat. So anyway, I've got a big favor to ask. Yeah. And then she goes, I really want Trunks to take me to the dance this weekend. Would you ask him to invite me? Pretty please. Colton says, uh, I don't know about that. And then she's like with a cherry on top. And then in, in his head, he's like, he told me he was going to ask Maya to go to that thing. So then Goten says, sorry, flyer. Wow. Her, her, her name is flyer. Okay. But I don't think I can make that happen. And then she goes, Hmm. And why not? You're practically cousins. Oh, so she like quoted him, yeah. Trunks has got swag to sp <laughs> Trunks has got swag to spare, so he's probably already got a date. Swag to spare. Interesting. Cousin's like, nah, I don't think he's asked anyone yet. Then what's wrong with me? Ugh. So then the bus halts, right? So they, they or it breaks. Everyone moves forward. And then and then they're like, what the heck? And like, there's some there's someone on the road and there's like one of the betas listen up i'm beta number seven get out of here son go 10 we know you're actually one of the saiyan men oh that was actually bars very good that was i don't even know if he meant to spit that but a bar's a bar 
Another one of these weirdos. How many is that now? And why won't they quit bugging you, Goten? And Goten's like, I don't know. But it's getting old. And then he says, here, make a quick escape. And he's like, oh, thanks. So he actually lets my man out the back window. Now, that's a homie right there. That's a true homie. And Flyer goes, ahem, Goten, don't forget my favor. He's like, yeah, yeah, sure. So he hops out the window. And then he sneaks around the building. Oh, yes, sir. It's morphin' time, right? He hits the freaking button. You already know what's gonna happen. So then the bus driver goes, get out of the road, you nut. I said move it. And then the dude ripped his pants. Nice, in classic Toriyama fashion. So then Saiyaman X2, of course, that's Goten. Ahem, your undies are showing. And he goes, I suppose our rush job Android doesn't get tailored outfits. <laughs> I'm the only one that's gonna enjoy this chapter, I can tell. Her, her, bold of you to show yourself, Saiyaman X2. So then they start fighting. Or I should, I sh what I should say, Goten is just serving up mans. Funny how Saiyaman X2 always shows up right after Goten steps away. And then the dude says, true. All right, so they're gonna start to, they're gonna start to catch on. That makes sense, right? So he goes, take this and that and some of this. So he knocks him into a nearby dumpster. He's all bloodied up already. He's like, okay, I'm done. And he goes, clean up, complete. Let's go. All right. So I guess later on that day, Blue Hall High School. Um, I forget that dude's name already. The big dance is this weekend. Everyone's invited. And he looks at Trunks. You're coming, right, Trunks? He's like, I even managed to book Clean God. Awesome. No? And he's like, the actual Clean God? Really? He's like, you bet. Oh, and he hid the clean god outfit. My man is actually lying to Trunks. Mm, mm, mm. Not cool. And then Trunks is like, well, there is someone I want to ask out. And then there goes Mai. Oh, Mai. He's like kind of like, Ugh. he's like freaking out kind of. Or sweating. And then the, the flyer reads, clean god will be there. And then Mai like is kind of like taken by this picture. And she goes, want to go to this party with me, Trunks? And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he literally that is literally how you would read that exactly like that with the with the head bob and everything and if you don't you're you're doing it wrong you're inviting me i never would have imagined but yeah of course so then Charles is like you know shoot i'd better buy some new clothes <laughs> right so then uh one of those i guess one of the, one of hito's like ladybug camera thing insects whatever it's it's actually watching in my peeps back to hito's lab uh, beta number seven goes through the door and goes, sorry, I got my butt handed to me too. And he was like, how amazing is that? Clean God will be, will be at that school. What a freaking idiot. He goes, the hunt for the disc is on pause. I'm attending that party. And then uh, Alpha, I forget his number. I can't see it from in, in, in that shot. Without getting invited by a student, how's that going to work? And he was like, I only need to create a female student Android and fast. He goes, yes, yes, the winds of fortune blow my way. I can meet him again. I get to meet Clean God himself. Dude, everybody on all sides of this arc are all for Clean God. That's insane. So Goten says, whoa, my invited you? And Chun's like, yup. Oh, my man Chun's out here. All right. Didn't even need to spill my Saiyan man secret. And Chun's like, anyway, I got to buy a new outfit. So I can't hang out today. Sorry, Goten. And he's like, no biggie. Chun's like, later. And Goten's like, oh, great. What do I tell Flyer now? Right? And then uh, the, uh, the the camera insect was right behind Goten. And someone yanks Goten. Looks like this thing was about to try to, like, get him or something. So then Mai obviously snatches him, right? And then Goten's like, what's going on, Mai? And Mai's like, careful. We're being watched. If they find out where we live, it's game over. And so then the thing flies away. And then Mai says, watched by what? That little bug? And then she said, it's in league with those androids. They've been monitoring us this whole time. Ah, so that's how they always show up wherever I am. Come on, Goten. And then she goes, beta number one said he was created by Dr. Hito, right? So I did some digging. And this Hito guy is a famous scientist around here. And Goten's like, and what? He's sending androids after us? Then Mai's like, exactly. Unless we take down Hito, his goons won't stop coming. And then Mai says, nobody knows where he's based though. So I'm planning to learn him out. And then Goten's like, okay, what's the bait? Hito only showed himself one time since he went into hiding. And it was for a clean God autograph event. Obviously, this the guy's a big fan. Wow, that's crazy. Yo, Mai's mad smart. Yo, good shit, good shit on Mai. So Goten says, man, clean God is the coolest. 
And she's like, frankly, I don't see the appeal. Oh, okay, so she's not really with the shits. Damn. All right. So then Mai says, but I'm going to give Hiro what's coming to him when he shows up at the party. And the ghost is like, you're going to catch him yourself, Mai? Isn't that a job for a superhero, maybe? And then Mai's like, listen, I'm sick of being the damsel in distress. Respectable. Goten says, fair enough. So then Goten says, hang on. Is that the only reason you invited Trunks to the party? And then Mai's like, yeah, so what? Oof. And then Goten says, oh, that sucks. And he was so pumped about it. And Mai's like, I really shouldn't have told you all that, Goten. So keep it under wraps. And Goten's like, okay. Hmm. All right, so they had the dance, right? Oh, they got my man out here. So look, at what what is this band called? Riot Jack Dance Party? All right, well, my man's on the drums. They got a little, this is like the freaking hero festival in My Hero Academia, right? So they got singing, everyone's dancing, having a good time. Everyone's all dressed up and everything. Goes and like, wow, everyone's so pumped up. And this was like flyer from earlier. She goes, remind me why I had to come to this thing with you, Goten. And then he's like, cause you wanted to spy on mine. And then she's like, duh, I've got to get a, re a read on that chick. So then oh, here comes here comes Trunks and mine, right? So then the, the freaking doorman, he goes, may I take your things? And then Trunks is like, don't lose it, okay? There's a really important disc in there. And he's like, very good, sir. Wow, so Mai literally came in some Saiyan armor looking freaking dress. Look at this, that's actually OD. Yo, can we shout out my man Trunks in the fresh drip? Oh, looking spiffy. All right, so we're 20 pages out of 50. This is a 50 pager, I just realized that. Wow, that's crazy. So Goten goes, there they are. And everyone's like uh, giving them the attention and stuff. Oh, is that a dress or a suit of armor? <laughs> <laughs> right that's what i'm saying either way those are some intense vibes and then flyers like the infamous mai i admit it she's a worthy rival and she's looking around mai's like looking around trying to find uh hito right so goten waves she nods so then the dude who threw this whole party together right give it up for the uh stationaries <laughs> that's a great band name for this uh can they get a round of applause and everyone's like oh yeah and he goes and now what you've all been waiting for clean god is about to take the stage hang in there a minute folks while he gets ready because that's obviously him and then the crowd's like oh yeah here we go trunks is like let's get a good view up front my she goes pass i can see fine from here trunks is like uh okay uh we'll catch up after i guess so then he goes through the crowd then Goten is like, Psst, my, you think Hito's really gonna sh to going to show up? And then she's like, 100%. And I'll know him instantly from the photos. And Trunks is standing right next to this guy. Oh, you can't make this up. Look, yo, look at this. That is great. And Trunks literally speaks to him. He goes, man, I can't wait. Hito's like, ah, are you a devoted fan as well? And Trunks is like, uh, only his biggest fan he did not oh i hope that's not a tattoo okay he goes i may have you beat he's like dude the exclusive tea from the signing session consider me jelly and he goes yes well that precious autograph was stolen actually i'm hoping to get another one from him tonight and then trunks like oof there's some real rotten people in the world huh and then mai just comes in trunks stand aside so she pulls out the oh the freaking the two piece right here and then trunks is like huh and then right as she was about to shoot, oh, it looks like one of the other betas, I, the dude from earlier, or, or was that, oh no, his name is beta, right? Who brings a weapon to a dance, honestly? And then she's like, beta? And then, uh, oh, oh, that's Rula. I'm starting to remember some of these character names. That's so funny. So Rula's, I guess, dating beta right now. So, or, or they're, they're, they're together at this party. And she goes, they let my boo back into school. So I invited him to the dance. That's crazy. And then, uh, Mai says, ugh. So they look around. Here is the whole police squadron led by Krillin. Oh, my man out here already to halt. Oh, this is the police. <laughs> Dr. Hito, you're under arrest for robbing bodies from the morgue. And then everyone's like, huh, what now? And then uh, Krillin says, thanks for the tip off, Mai. And then Mai says, I want to be the one to nab him, but sure. Trunks is like, wait, Hito? So you're... And then he's like, curses, I've been spotted. But a genius scientist won't be caught with his pants down. And then he raises his arm and then he has a smoke launcher. So he shoots the, the smoke launcher. Trunks gets hit. All everyone gets hit. Now there's all this smoke. Krillin's like, damn it. And then Trunks is like, I'm here, Mai. You okay? And everyone's like coughing up a storm, right? So then 
it looks like Hito just barely escapes. He gets in the car driven by the freaking football beta dude, right? And he goes, farewell, sadly for you, no authorities will ever apprehend me. And then Krillin goes, crap, he, he got us good. You know, it's crazy. At this moment, Krillin literally could have did, you know, Solar Flare! And this whole thing would have just been dead right here, right? <sighs> Comedy wins. So then the other policeman goes, what now, sir? Do we pursue with, with the aircraft? And Krillin goes, no. He'd see that coming and avoid going back to his hideout. Krillin says, I'll go after him alone and stay out of sight. That's the best way to find his lair. I hope he flies because that's, you know, that'd be, probably be the smartest thing to do. So then Trunks goes, my, were you seriously going to try to take down Hito on your own? And then Mai says, yeah, I can't stand always being the one who needs saving. Trunks is like, you should have looped me in. And then she goes, actually, your mother told me to keep an eye out to make sure you didn't blunder into trouble. And Trunks is like, ouch, her words or yours? Uh-oh. And then the doorman, he goes, oh, dear, they stole the guest bags and such. And he said, what the? Trunks says, including mine with the disc? And he's like, I'm afraid so, sir. And then Maya goes, go after them. You can still catch up. I mean, you're saying man X1, right? Did she say that? With everyone around? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Okay, I was about to say, damn, my. And then Trunks is like, uh, you knew? He's like, I thought you just confused me with that other me from the future. And then Mai's like, I realized that obviously wasn't possible. You're the only Trunks I've got in this world. Thank you. It's, it's officially not weird, at least on her end of things, right? So Trunks is like, the only Trunks you've got? <laughs> He's so hopeless, right? And then she's like, ahem, didn't mean it like that. And then Trunks is like, listen, Mai, I'm going to catch Hito and be the strongest, coolest superhero in the world. After that, will you let me ask you out for real? Mai says, really? That's where your mind's at? She goes, ugh, fine. Take care of Hito and we can go on as many dates as you want. Just hurry. He goes, yes, man. All right, it's back to being weird. Trunks goes, action time, Goten. Okay. And then she's like, huh. And then here comes the fake clean god. Have I kept you waiting, folks? Clean God is here to sweep evil away. And he goes, what the? And everyone's gone, obviously, right? And he raises his mask. He's like, where'd everyone go? And she's like, you poser. Tell him. So Hito in the car, right? So Beta goes, look, Dr. Hito, Trunks had the disc after all. Well done, Beta number one. So then Hito goes, hmm, I thought he seemed fishy from the start, but you were chatting like the bestest of pals, <laughs> said the, uh, the uh, Alpha 12, I think, or Beta 12, I don't know. And then he goes, silence, all a part of my plan. So they're zooming off and they, okay, Krillin is flying. Okay, good. So then he's like, yo, Kudidin. And Trunks and Goten notably are literally flying with their superhero suits on without their helmets. So I'm guessing he knows that they're great Saiyan men. So he goes, oh man, I wish you boys hadn't gotten involved. Well, I guess it would make sense that he would know. Duh, right? He's seen Gohan do it before. So he's like, what's the sitch? Want to fill us in? We on Kim Possible now? Okay. No turning back now. I guess just don't tell your mom. And then Krillin goes, the ringleader, Dr. Hito, is actually Dr. Jero's grandson. Like his granddad, Hito is a scientist who specializes in creating androids. And then Trunks says, Jero? That name sounds familiar. He's the real bad dude who made Cell, right? So Hito is in the family biz of plotting world domination. Krillin says, can't say for sure, but Hito loves research for its own sake. In fact, he has his androids working jobs to make money for his project. So then Goten says, putting them to work, dedicated yet goofy all at once. And Krillin's like, the thing is, there's a nastier organization operating in the shadows. Wow, so Krillin knows a lot more than um, I guess we realized. And then Trunks is like, oh, how nasty are we talking? And then bleep bleep. So he gets like a little pager notice on his phone or his watch. Incoming from HQ, shift to the side, boys. Sure. So then as we thought, the group targeting Hito is the Red Ribbon Army. Wow. This is kind of shaping together very nicely. I, I can call that out. And then Trunks is like, the Red Ribbon Army? Did I hear that right? And then Krillin's like, good to know. I'm in pursuit of Hito's vehicle as we speak. And then they go, uh, good. Keep pursuing Hito and locate his hideout. We must stay one step ahead of the Red Ribbon Army. And Krillin goes, 10-4, ma'am. So he hangs up. And then Trunks is like, those Red Ribbon guys were a bunch of baddies way back in the day, right? And Krillin goes, you know your stuff. And then he goes, but yes, and we think they've started up again recently. Then Goten says, and they want to get Hito to work for them? 
and then krillin says exactly if the red ribbon army and hito team up we're looking at a real crisis possibly related to that disc you had which contains some dangerous data krillin says i might have guessed i've got a nasty feeling about this we've got to get to hito before the red ribbon army does no matter what and then they stop and then Krillin's like, hmm? And Krillin's like, something wrong? And then, oh my God, Trunks and Goten look at each other. Goten, this is the big break we've been looking for, right? Right? And Goten's like, we get to be actual superheroes for real? And they're like, heck yeah, we've got a super evil butt to kick. So they're like all happy being Saiyan Man X. And then Krillin's like, slow down. This isn't a game, boys. I knew I shouldn't have told you the whole story. And then he goes, until this case is closed, it stays a secret. Whatever you do, don't tell your mother, Goten. And, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Krillin's like, geez. So I suppose with that, this kind of fills in what could have been the plot hole when it comes to the movie taking place after this. That explains why they obviously acted like they didn't know what was going on really and that they were kind of just called upon for extra help, right? And they obviously they didn't have their superhero outfits or anything like that. Um, but I feel like if the manga is going to actually include some you know movie events i feel like they might write some of that stuff in to where they do have that knowledge this time around going forward because as we know the manga does change up some things from how the anime versions are or vice versa so all right so now we're at the layer right so uh hito parks then the mummy, the mummy android is like, Dr. Hito, the two Saiyan men and a cop are coming this way. And Hito's like, curses, they tailed us. And then Alpha 12 goes, what now, Doc? Do we got to fight them again? And then he goes, no, you and the Alpha series are no match for them. And neither is the Beta series. Mm, here we go. We're getting close. So then Hito says, I'll have to activate my last resort. Though I have my doubts about its intelligence. There they go, Krillin and the Saiyan man. Your corner, Dr. Hito. And then, oh, that's a big ass looking dinosaur. He's like, oh, come on, a dino android this time? And then Hito's like, a dinosaur optimized for power, to be precise, far stronger than any android before. Dino droid number one, crush him. So the dino droid is, is charging at them, right? So he grabs, looks like he grabs Goten. And Trunks like, X2. And then he backhands Trunks, right? And Trunks goes into the wall and Krillin's like, oh, and then Krillin's like, why you? And then he kicks the, the, the dino droid, but then he freaking mouth blasts Krillin. Oh man, there's a lot of action now. And then Hito's like, hey, don't destroy the lab. And then Alpha 12 is like, more of the budget should have gone to his brain. Now that's fact. So, oh wow. So they're like within like a, like this mountain. You see like all these beams like shooting across the freaking land and all that stuff. And it's like, of course, destroying these. It's like going full on Godzilla right now. And then Hito's like, oh, goodness. Trunks is like, darn. And then, Gar uh, uh, no, Goten's like, darn. And Trunks is like, oh. And then Trunks is like, this isn't a very heroic move. But here goes. He goes, chew on this. Oh, okay. So then he, okay. I guess I guess he's just trying to shoot it like a, a key blast. Oh, it looks like kind of like a burning attack. Not going to lie. He goes, he goes, ah, right. So he shoots the freaking dinosaur right in the chin. And he screams back. And he goes, no way. An actual chi blast? doesn't work and then krillin said this thing was built in a lab so it must have some mechanical parts that's his weakness so then krillin just like hops around he's on the back side he's like there i go found it you're going down so he destructs those discs what looks like a little power bank on his back and then it and it freezes and hito goes hey what's the matter dino droid number one trunks says frozen in place nice nice one krillin so then he drops goten and trunks and then he goes you ready, X2? You know it. Oh, and they power up the Super Saiyan. Okay. So then they charge up and then they, and they, it looks like they freaking, they punch him right in the gut and they go out of the, the whole place and they hit him with the final cyclone style tornado double hurricane. Oh yeah. Get him. Nice. Great, great shot. Great little art. I appreciate it. So of course it's destroyed. And then Hito's like, Dino Droid number one, no. So then they and they they <laughs> they land. And of course, you already know. It's say with me now. Clean up complete. Oh, let's go. <laughs> so then Krillin goes, You're under arrest, Dr. Hito. And then and Hito's like, grr, right? So this is the so Krillin is the reason why Hito's actually in jail. He's the one who arrests him. That's actually really fun, uh, fun information to know. So he goes, I'll be taking that disc too. He's like, no, don't. 
So he looks at it and then he opens it. He's like, huh? Where's the disc? And then oh he opens it and there's a note and it flaps down and it looks like an autograph. He goes to Dr. Hito from Clean God. This is probably where he where he probably met him. And then Krillin goes, What's this now? And Hito goes, Give that back. Clean God signed that photo with my name and all. I value it more than life itself. And then Trunks like, huh? And Krillin's like, you mean wait, so where's the disc? And then Hito's like, I've long since memorized the data anyway, so I discarded it. Of course, in any case, I never had the slightest interest in Dr. Jero's work. The disc's case was the ideal size for the photo, so I kept it safe in there until that boy stole it. A perfect fit. They were holding on to an autograph the entire time. That's, that's really what they... I mean, they, the disc was there. Let's not forget. It was there. Trunks had it in the computer. Let's not forget that. So Trunks goes, oh, okay, then. <laughs> and then, oh, it looks like Goten actually had the disc in hand. It's all cracked and broken. So the narration says, and so Dr. Hito was incarcerated, but since he allowed his small army of zombies to be returned to their families, mommy, I'm home. Oh, my dearly departed boy. Oh, despite his many crimes, he were given reduced sentences at the request of those families. Hiro was only formally charged with the crime of stealing bodies from the morgue and putting them to work at a corner store. For this, he received a three month sentence. Wow, that's crazy. That see, that's a, that's a that's I'm not going to call it a plot twist, but that's a twist. He basically brought people that died back and returned them to their families that's actually that, that you know what that gets a thing that's actually really nice that's that's really cool and then Hito goes hmm I can continue my research wherever I happen to be I need only to access a new lab and work remotely and Hito goes after all I've created Hachimaru a more intelligent model than Tentomaru oh there goes yes there goes Hachimaru we saw him in the movie and then he goes, no prison guards could hope to contain a genius scientist of my caliber. So then he lets the bee free. And then he goes, giving up is not my style. Not when I've yet to create the ultimate android. Which I'm sure he's referring to the Gammas. Right? And then it says, to be continued. And that is the very last page. And we are, yeah, we're definitely done. So it was actually 47 pages to be exact. Nice. Very good. Goddamn 47. So, obviously, this chapter was seemingly like a wrap-up. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually like the very end um, or if we're going to actually get more to this part of this little arc saga, whatever you want to call it. The cleanup arc, if you will. That's actually a really good name. We should probably stick with using that. But I was hearing some rumors floating around on twitter and i say hearing because i didn't actually read into it but apparently this is done like it's over now like and, and we're just going back to like better things like are, are or are we just going into the perspective of piccolo and gohan now are we gonna start looking at that or are we actually gonna be going directly into superhero territory are we gonna have a three month time skip because from here He's only in jail for three months. So we can assume that whenever they do decide to come back within that three month time, this arc literally took place three months prior to superhero. I think we can confirm that, right? I think we can agree on that. So we'll have to see. And obviously we're gonna have to wait until next month in March for chapter 91 to see where this goes, if that's actually the next release date. But as you guys can tell, I liked it. I enjoyed it. I know that a lot of people haven't really been a fan of this cleanup arc. But as a reminder, I am a fan of Tokusatsu. I am a fan of Power Rangers. I am a fan of all that kind of stuff. And I am I am actually a fan of the Toriyama humor and comedy. And Toyotaro does a great job with, you know, delivering that and reminding people that, you know, Dragon Ball at its core is very comedic based okay like when you go back and watch dragon ball episodes that shit you're laughing like every other line like there's something that's dumb happening or wild or random happening that's always gonna get you laughing and that's the whole point toriyama comes from doing comedy works it just so happens that he accidentally created a, a world phenomenon known as dragon ball and you know he, it is what it is to this day even though it is very much recognized for being like you know one of those series that is more maybe known 
over the years as a just a fighting battle just nothing going on series that's on the surface to those that really don't truly understand all of the things and the layers that are obviously right there right on top of you know its namesake so just as another reminder you know but don't worry i feel like we're now you know sort of starting to now really get closer towards this end of z part that we're looking for because i mean this is the year guys i really feel like this is the year and they cannot stall any longer so toei get your shit together let's freaking get it moving let's get the anime back let's go come on guys we gotta get hype let's get it let me know your thoughts in the comments and uh if there is anything that you guys do not want me to miss out on in a future video definitely uh consider leaving a super thanks i would do appreciate that and uh, hope you guys are enjoying all the reactions that i've been trying to put out for you guys as uh, as daily as regular as i as i can through deliverance through the freaking death battle that we did the other freaking day and uh even that naruto video that i did that i am just like i i i can't even find myself to watch it back it was bad enough that i had to edit it myself so you know like you know pretty much all my videos but yeah that's neither here nor there i'm gonna get out of here and hit the gym so thank you guys for catching up uh tuning in it's been your boy ooch make sure you guys are liking sharing subscribing hit me up all the links in the description are going to be, you know, how you can support me even further beyond. And uh, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. And I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>